the news tonight, I'm Royce and Drex. First up, we tell you about contraband items that are making their way past security checks at the New Amsterdam prison. And yesterday, it was nice time for inmates. An investigation was launched to ascertain how expensive liquor, marijuana and other prohibited items got past security at the New Amsterdam prison. To make matters worse, the remanded inmates went on a drinking spree and took photographs of the event and posted it to their Facebook pages. The men were seen posing with Ciroc, NSC, Canberry juice and energy drinks. A spliff was also added to the list and in Guyanese slang, it was nice time for the inmates. This latest development comes as a shock to the top brass of the prison that are working feverishly to crack down on contraband items making its way into the jailhouse. This was not the first time that inmates have taken to social media. Prior to the fire that got to the Camp Street jail, inmates took to social media to complain about several issues. When we come back, we will tell you about a fatal accident that left a toddler dead on the Linden Suicide Highway. Hey, looky there. Let me go to techie boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Breaking news alert. Don't be scammed or fooled by top brand imported mattresses. The imported mattress has a 320 coil count. Comfort Sleep mattresses have 416 coils. Top brand imported coil thickness is 1 mm. Comfort Sleep mattresses, 2 mm. Top brand imported spring size is 55 inches by 75 inches. Comfort Sleep, 58 inches by 78 inches. Top brand imported protection mats are of poor quality and very thin. Comfort Sleep mattresses use a 780 gram protection mat. The top brand imported mattresses use a thinner foam. Comfort Sleep uses a wider and thicker foam. Don't waste your hard-earned money on a poor quality imported mattress. Buy quality. Buy Comfort Sleep mattresses. Karibi Rice. From the lush rice fields of Guyana. Straight to your home. Ruby Rice, our people, our rice. Welcome back. And now for that troubling story. One dead, several seriously injured in Sue's Dyke Linden accident. That is Ariana Hughes of Diamond Housing Scheme, East Bank Demerara. She was a passenger in a car driven by her father, which collided head on with a Route 42 minibus. Her father, mother, and other siblings are in a serious condition at the Georgian Public Hospital. Hughes and the other injured persons were rushed to the Diamond Hospital then later transferred to the Georgian Public Hospital, where Hughes succumbed this morning. There are reports that after the collision, both vehicles toppled several times before coming to a stop. Both vehicles were badly damaged. There are reports that the driver of the car swerved and ended up in the path of the minibus. The Guyana Police Force Traffic Department is on the story. Breaking news alert. Don't be scammed or fooled by top brand imported mattresses. The imported mattress has a 320 coil count. Comfort Sleep mattresses have 416 coils. Top brand imported coil thickness is 1 mm. Comfort Sleep mattresses, 2 mm. Top brand imported spring size is 55 inches by 75 inches. Comfort Sleep, 58 inches by 78 inches. Top brand imported protection mats are of poor quality and very thin. Comfort Sleep mattresses use a 780 gram protection mat. The top brand imported mattresses use a thinner foam. Comfort Sleep uses a wider and thicker foam. Don't waste your hard-earned money on a poor quality imported mattress. Buy quality. Buy Comfort Sleep mattresses. A 
GPL employee is counting his lucky stars after he suffered electric shock. A GPL employee is now a patient at the Georgetown Public Hospital after he came into contact with a live high voltage wire during repair work around the Starbrook Market in the vicinity of Demico. The injured man was identified as Nara Singh, 34, of Garden of Eden, East Bank Demerara. Workers from the utility company were called into action after a tree in the St. Andrew's churchyard fell and damaged a utility pole which left electric wires lying around on the road. It was while the work was ongoing that the man reportedly came into contact with two live wires and was tossed in the air. His helmet pitched off, but luckily he was wearing protective gloves and safety boots. Vendors described the horrific incident. He was picking up the wire, right, not knowing that he still had current inside. So as soon as he holds up like this, it started going off with the voltage. So he couldn't control that and it turned into him and throw it down on the ground, so he just keeps jumping up all the time. The tree around the other side fall down, during to the rain, so that interrupt the wire service there. So they were changing it and putting it on another post. I just see how the song of the wire, and the wire like you don't want your belly, you know, when it's somewhere, and you see the wire like you don't know, so just stay around. You didn't wait to see another thing. Sick, that is sick to see that. At the hospital, his colleagues gathered to lend support to him while his relatives arrive at the hospital. And a quick look around the courts. A taxi driver and a mechanic were to be charged with possession of stolen property. The men Mahadi Olal and Manish Basad appeared in the Georgetown Magistrate's Court before Magistrate Judy Lashman where they denied a charge and were released on $200,000 bail each. They will return to court on May 30th. The charges came some four days after a stolen alien car was recovered at Airy Hall on the Essequibo coast. Reports are that the two received the car on March 30th from Erlen Angus in Princess Street in the city. The car is said to be valued at $2.2 million. Prosecutor Arwin Moore told the court that the vehicle was stolen by Angus, who took it to a workshop owned by Munish Basad for it to be sprayed. Basad in turn gave the vehicle to Mahadi Ulal to operate it as a taxi. The car is the property of Anthony Pickett. He was allegedly robbed by Angus on March 14th of the vehicle, one cell phone and $7,000 in cash. Angus is before the court for that matter. That's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition.